Oh yeah! Hey, Nooblets! So I came across this story on the mirror. Title is Tinder and Grinder Dating Apps Linked to More Than 500 Crimes, Including Murder, Rape, and Child Abuse. Lib Dem leader Tim Farron has warned the shocking figures could be just the tip of the iceberg. That sounds terrifying, doesn't it? Now, this is in the United Kingdom, but still, let's look a little closer at this. I mean, that headline is terrifying. Boy, you better not use Tinder. So, the story starts, Police have linked more than 500 crimes to the use of dating apps, Tinder and Grindr, including murder, rape, and child abuse. Ooh. Almost a third of these were sexual offenses, including rape, child abuse, and grooming. They've already said we're two lines into the story and the headline. We've had rape and child abuse three times and murder twice. It comes after serial killer Stephen Port was jailed last month for the murders of four young men, including Daniel Whitworth. He met on gay websites and apps, including Grindr. Liberal Dem leader Tim Farron warned, I worry that these shocking figures could just be the tip of the iceberg. Data compiled by almost three-quarters of police forces across England and Wales listed 523 crimes from the past five years, where officials' logs include the words Tinder or Grinder. Whew, now that is a scary-looking guy. I'm gonna, I'll go with that. He does look like a serial killer. Man, Stephen Port is that guy's name. Tinder launched as a smartphone app in 2012 and Grindr used largely by gay and bisexual men in 2009. Among the highest incidences of crime linked to them, 98 were recorded by the Met Police, 58 in Greater Manchester and 49 in... I don't even know how you say that. Across the country, officers report at least 162 sexual offenses, including 63 rapes linked to the two apps. And there's the picture of the kid he killed. Just looks like a nice pimple-faced kid there. And the freedom information data from 31 to 43 forces suggests incidences related to the two dating services are surging. This year alone, Greater Manchester Police recorded 12 rapes linked to the apps. Two were logged the previous year. Tim Farron said the real figures could be significantly higher. He added, while many people have found their perfect match through these dating apps, there are those who have become victims of horrific crimes. The police need to do much more than they currently are to highlight the real dangers of online dating. Forces also reported several sex attacks on children, plus cases of grooming. Child sex abuse, child prostitution, thefts, assaults, and harassments were commonplace. Chief Constable Simon Bailey, National Lead for Violence and Public Protection, said the rising popularity of online dating apps and websites has contributed to an increase in the number of recorded crimes. I would urge those who use online dating apps to be as security conscious as possible. Sound advice. A Scotland Yard spokesman added, The Metropolitan Police Service works hard to bring offenders to justice and we av advocate using apps safely and encourage the reporting of crime as soon as possible. Now that makes sense. Obviously you need to be careful, especially if you're going to meet up with a stranger. You got to take precautions, make sure you do it in a crowded place and um, have someone that has your back, you know, common sense type of stuff. But the way they put this, it's like, if you go out on a Tinder date, you're going to die. You're going to get raped. You know, some kid's going to be sexually assaulted. Now they have 500 crimes over five years. That's a hundred a year. I mean, how many take place And only a, a third of those were actually sexual offenses, including rape, child abuse, and grooming. Almost a third of these. So you got like 150, you know, crimes that were committed over a five-year period with rape, child abuse, and grooming. And murder, I'm guessing, is the very low one. A serial killer is going to be a serial killer. There were serial killers long before there were Tinder. They find their victims. This guy, if Tinder wasn't around, he'd be killing people by going to gay bars or something. And that's the other thing. 500 crimes that... in Probably millions of people have used this. I don't know about in England, maybe not. But over the five years, probably. You know, how many crimes were committed in a, uh, a nightclub, or for say? Probably a lot. So this just, it just struck me as being kind of biased. But uh, I guess the advice is sound. Always use precautions. 
take precautions and be aware of your surroundings at all times. It's a scary world out there, kids. Stay safe. I'm Old Noob. Oh yeah. Subscribe, share, and like.